Hello everyone. If you're looking to create an input tag box similar to YouTube's search bar using Vue.js, then you've come to the right place. In this video, we'll take you through a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to build an input tag box with Vue.js. You'll learn how to use Vue.js directives and components to create a dynamic input box that displays suggested tags as you type. By the end of the video, you'll have a better understanding of how to create user-friendly input tag boxes with Vue. Perfect for any web application that requires user input. Hello everyone. If you're looking to create an input tag box similar to YouTube's search bar using Vue.js, then you've come to the right place. In this video, we'll take you through a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to build an input tag box with Vue.js. You'll learn how to use Vue. JS directives and components to create a dynamic input box that displays suggested tags as you type. By the end of the video, you'll have a better understanding of how to create user-friendly input tag boxes with Vue.js, perfect for any web application that requires user input. To start, I will create a Laravel project and install Vue.js into it. Follow the video for step-by-step. OK project is done. Now I will do writing template with HTML and CSS at example component.
OK, for now I have finished writing the client side template. I will do backend processing for saving tags after submission. Now I will create a database and a tag table to hold the data. At the route, I will do a query to get all the tags to send to the welcome and view component. This is a view. JS component that has a property called init tags, which defaults to an empty array. Inside the data method, there are three variables. Tags which is initialized as an empty array. New tag which is an empty string. And disabled which is initially set to false. In the created lifecycle hook, the component loops through each element in init tags array and pushes it to the tags array. This is a Vue.js template code for rendering a list of tags. The list is created using the V for directive, which iterates over the tags array in the Vue component's data. A button element with an on-click event listener, which is triggered when the button is clicked. Remove all tags, which sets the value of the tags variable to an empty array, effectively removing all elements from it. The click event handler is bound to the trash icon, and it calls the remove tag method in the view component when clicked, passing the index of the tag to remove as an argument. The remove tag method updates the tags array in the component's data by removing the tag at the specified index.
The cone allows users to enter tags separated by commas in an input field. When the enter key is pressed, the add tag method is invoked, which processes the input, filters out duplicates and empty tags, and adds the new tags to an array tags. This code defines a button with a class of submit that triggers a function called submit tags when clicked. The button is initially enabled, but when it's clicked, the function disables it to prevent multiple submissions. The function uses the Axios library to send a POST request to a server-side API and point API save tags with the data from the tags object. The data field of the request body contains the stringified JSON representation of the tags object. If the server responds with a JSON object containing a status field with a truthy value, the function enables the button again. Otherwise, it catches any errors and logs them to the console. I will create a route for updating tags. This code defines a route that listens for post requests on the save tags endpoint. When a post request is received, the route updates the name column in that egg table where that column equals one with the value of the data parameter passed in the request. After the update, the route returns a JSON response with a status of 1. OK, the tag data has been updated to the database when we change it. Thank you for watching, goodbye and see you in the next tutorials.